Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use VLOOKUP function across multiple sheets with the same unique ID. What do I mean by that? I have full name with me, and the same full name is across the sheets that I want to extract information from, right? But the only thing that differs between all these three sheets is the bonus, right? You can see that it's going to be different across all of these three sheets, right? So uh, the, the normal method that we would usually follow is we'll say we look up, I look up the value, go to the table here, select my data, comma, the table array, I'm, I'm select the table array, comma, give the table index as two and say exact match, right? Now that way I'm able to extract the uh, Jan 17 bonus from this sheet, but I have three sheets and if I do this exercise three times, then only I'll be able to get this information. But what if you had five to 15 sheets and you had to do this VLOOKUP multiple times, it will take a lot of time. And hence, we're going to use a combination of VLOOKUP and an indirect function to help us do this using one formula that will be solving this whole purpose, right? Before you get into doing this, please ensure that your column names above are same as the sheet names because you're going to use this as a key to extract the information from these sheets, right? So uh, here's what you're, what you're going to do. The range that we select here, right, is going to be what we need here, okay? So for example, I'm just going to say is equal to, come back to this table and select this. What this does is, I, just, I, I remove the equal to and just got the text with me here, right? I just extend this formula here. I got this text. I just need this extra information and I'm going to concatenate the column name with this information because that's going to be same across all the sheets, right? So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut this. Okay, I'll copy this rather. I will say is equal to the below value F4, F4 twice so that the row is fixed and with double quotations put the value that we have right so it's colon exclamatory mark a colon b right so i get the same exact thing that i uh, i would get when i go and select the formula right the only difference is i can also put dollar to fix the formula right now that's that's one of it. Now I'm going to copy it across these three cells, right? And I get their ranges as well. Now, now you can see this uh, very easily. Like if you have 10 to 15 sheets, you can just put the names down here and then uh, use this logic to extract and create the range that we are going to use uh, while do while doing VLOOKUP. Okay. So the magic that we are going to use here right now is that we're going to use indirect function take the range from here and then extract the table area out of it right so it's going to be is equal to vlookup the lookup value is going to be aditya comma the table array rather than selecting it directly here or going back to here and selecting it going to the individual sheets and selecting it i'm going to say indirect okay of the above function here now this is very important press f4 twice Okay, so that the column is not fixed, but the row is fixed. Okay, that's important because we're going to drag this formula down and we're going to drag it this side also, right? Comma, column index is going to be two for all of them, comma, false exact match, right? I'm going to say close the bracket and say enter. As you can see, we can, we have got the first bonus of Aditya here. Okay, I'm going to copy this formula for the rest of the cells okay so this is not doing the vlookup because i forgot to fix the full name here okay so i'm just going to go to the vlookup value here and say fix the column right this time i'm just going to fix the column not the rows right so i'm just going to press f4 once more that now fixes the row i'm going to press f4 once more and that fixes the column now press enter and then copy the cells here right so very important guys 
ensure the VLOOKUP value has a fixed column and the indirect value on the top has a fixed row. So without this two key fixes, you'll not be able to get the intended results, right? So I got this results. Uh, we can confirm this. If you go to Feb 17 bonus, it's 3803 and 8156 and 8156. So we got the right results. I'm going to copy the cells below and I'm I have extracted all the bonus information with using one VLOOKUP function but taking the support of indirect function, right? So if you have multiple sheets, you can just simply add the column names here that is equivalent to the sheet names here. Do this little formula on top and then use indirect function to change the table array dynamically while you copy the cells towards the right hand side. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please do hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel.